The High Republic era of Star Wars is finally making the jump from books to the screen with the Disney Plus series, Acolyte. Here's what we noticed in the first trailer for this pre-prequel project. Most of the characters we meet in the Acolyte trailer are new, even for longtime fans of the High Republic stories. This show takes place toward the end of the era, setting it closer to The Phantom Menace and Return of the Sith than the pre-existing novels and comics. My only conclusion can be that it was a Sith Lord. Impossible. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. However, there are some familiar faces in the trailer as well, namely Jedi Master Vanestra Rowe. An incredibly talented Jedi and Force user, Vanestra is first introduced as an apprentice but quickly becomes a Jedi Knight at the age of 15. Her skills and experience puts her in the middle of the Republic's conflict with the Nile, a pirate faction of sorts that gains significant strength and influence. Throughout the High Republic books, Vanestra is involved in some of the biggest events in the story, including the destruction of the Starlight Beacon. She also has a unique modified purple lightsaber that can transform into a less rigid weapon called a light whip. It should be exciting to see what this older version of Vanestra gets up to in the Acolyte. The trailer also shows a Wookiee Jedi named Kelnaka. While he himself is new, the actor who plays him in Star Wars is a veteran. Yuna Shwutomo took over for original Chewbacca actor Peter Mayhew, starting with the sequel trilogy. And he's played the character in The Last Jedi, The Rise of Skywalker, and Solo A Star Wars Story. It's good to have a Wookiee veteran on board to bring this new Jedi Master to life. The Acolyte trailer opens with a scene of Jedi Master Sol instructing a class of younglings in the way of the Force. Close your eyes, he instructs them. Tell me what comes into your mind. One star student offers life, balance. Another girl behind her has a more grim vision. I see fire. While not confirmed, it seems likely that this second pupil is Mei, the Amandla Stenberg character. We know from what Lucasfilm has said that Mei is a former Padawan with a connection to Sol. This opening scene may show part of their early relationship, foreshadowing Mei's fall to the dark side. Later in the trailer, there's a shot of Mei sprinting through a burning forest. It mirrors the vision of fire reference in the opening scene. Of course, there's a lot we still don't know about Mei's story. The Dark Force user she allies herself with, Mother Anasea, has been described in the promotional materials as a witch, but presumably not one of the Night Sisters who have previously held the witch monopoly in Star Wars canon. One of the last shots in the Acolyte trailer shows Mei confronting a shadowy figure on a rocky island. The particular look of the rocks combined with the ocean in the background makes the planet look a whole lot like Ark 2, the site of the first Jedi Temple where Rey finds Luke in the sequel trilogy. Since the Acolyte takes place at a time when the Jedi are supposedly quite powerful and spiritually connected, the show could be a good opportunity to return to Ark 2. We'll hopefully get a lot more exploration of the dark side lurking in the shadows of the galaxy. What someone from that corner of the Force could be doing on Ark 2 remains to be seen. Is Mei in pursuit of the original Jedi text seen in the sequel trilogy? For now, it's all speculation, but the planets look practically identical. So it's probably Ark 2. Star Wars The Acolytes could have many more surprises in store when it premieres on Disney Plus on June 4th.